Oh yeah. Auto auto detect to everything being on epic mode. They know my computer. Hey everybody we're playing Call of Cthulhu. It's a it's a Cthulhu game. And we're just gonna start. <laughs> Chapter one, Pierce Investigations Agency, Boston. Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who is, who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Alright, that's basically every Lovecraftian story and inspired story I've ever heard. Is always an alcoholic detective that's about to figure out enter madness it says in a literal sense all right if i am mad it is mercy may the gods pity the man who is in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end hp lovecraft That was weird. Could they not render that in a... Uh... I wonder if they for some reason couldn't render that in engine or something. Cause like... All that stuff we saw back there... That was pre-rendered, but it, like... The game looks so much better when it's not pre-rendered. Cause it's so compressed. We must have swam here, right? There's like a pile of corpses back there, but like the cave is full of water. Like that's filled in problem all right what was that about how you need help finding a detective job to do this is a this is very elsewhere what all right so you know cut up fish guts sharks that got owned and so on and that's just a jaw yeah. We can crash through there. I'm guessing this doesn't work then. Nope. How did you get this cave so green? You gotta tell me. You gotta let, introduce me to your interior de decorator. And the fog? I'm really curious about the fog. Counter darkness. You must light up some items in order to interact with them. I can only interact with that if I light it up first with a light source. Okay, I've got a light source. The hurricane lamp. Is that a standard term? Oh. Alright, are those... Is that a cult symbol? I'm thinking cultists right now. There's usually some cults going around in the Cthulhu land. Is that a tree or what? It does look tentacly. Get this open. There we go. Um, is this game, does this game have a narrator? Or am I being commanded by Cthulhu? Yeah, these are absurd rock formations. They're bizarre patterns. Is that a whole, that's a whole whale.
Yeah. Yeah, it's an that's an entire killer whale just kind of cut open. This is a, we went from zero to extreme gore very quickly. We don't even have a plot yet, but gore. Uh. You have been chosen. Looking at these flat discs, I'm definitely thinking of uh, maybe coral. Yeah. Maybe that explains the weirdness of this environment. They're teaching me how to run. Is something bad gonna come at me this early? Even without context? Oh, you do not run very fast in this game. Oh boy. That is not very reassuring. Okay. I'm taking that as implication that we just saw... We just saw, like, potentially the end of the game or something like that, but we don't know who was there, because everybody there had a weird, plasticky pantyhose face. Like, you couldn't see anything... You couldn't see who any, anybody was, so their identities are still secret, but that's how we potentially die if we don't change the course of things. I said consult diary. Oh, my controller's not working. Every button just, just stopped responding. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 Here. No. No. Okay. This is a good... We're off to a good start. Alright, well now my controller's off. Calm down. Please calm... Okay, it's fine. We can just do keyboard and mouse. If I can get it to work. I'll be honest, I thought this game was third person, which is why I went with a uh, controller. If it's not, then I guess I don't need that. Turn the camera the sensitivity the way the hell down, though, because it seems to be in a hurry. And uh, it's uninverted. Okay. Did you... That's not uninverted. Shit. This is definitely made for consoles. Uh, can I even click on things directly? You can't... Uh, can you? Sometimes? I don't know. I must have not saved? Apply settings. Yes. There we go. Okay, there we go. Hey, everybody. Sorry for the minor interference. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Different version of the story. The husband never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed. Oh. This kept coming and coming. Uh-oh. My mouse leaves the screen when I'm trying to scroll around. Let's see. Rotate his right mouse button. It's already set for rotate, though. It's rotating with my mouse regardless. Oh, are you saying clicking left and right stick rot- Wait. What, is it, what does that say now? It says, it says left and right click is rotate, right? But it's rotating with my mouse. Clicking doesn't do anything. Weird. Not really relevant right now, but weird. Oh, did I just take that into my inventory? I better take this with me for the rest of the game. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. There's some books. I can't really see what's in there. I used to be an avid reader. Now I quit. I quit reading forever. Since ever since I lost my eyes. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. You're, we're having a swell time. I wonder why I still take these things. 
I'm sorry, is this the guy from Vampire? I, I just dealt with this guy. Is it the same voice actor again? What was his name in Vampire? It wasn't named, he wasn't named Edward Pierce, was it? That was, that'd be weird. Uh, the doctors prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore that they w would put an end to the nightmares. But for a while now, their effect has been wearing off. So we're losing our mind. Already. That's, or, that's just how we're starting off. Alright, more or less the norm, I suppose. Let's have a drink. This will affect your destiny. Thanks. Alright. Glad to know I just got the bad ending. I know that you're an alcoholic and even drinking all the time, but the moment the player got control, that was the bad time to do a drink. That just permanently changed everything. Sciences, linguistics, archaeology. What I would guess is there's probably a bunch of background detail decisions we're making over the course of the entire game, and those affect our sanity meter, and that affects probably what endings you get. Which, because the idea of your sanity score is a really common thing in like, Love crafting tabletop games, love crafting other things, and I've dabbled in enough of them at this point. I should get rid of all this stuff. You just are you just quitting your whole job at this point? A good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case. But when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. The Boston Strangler escapes from state mental ward. Lost to see here at Saturday's 4-H day. Dude, we've been through this thing. Let's close that. It's the front door. We've looked around for the most part. What is the been a nope. while since I jotted down something other than my nightmares? Oh, what a happy man. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no, lo no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they were different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable, unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? So you still somehow inherently know that it's somewhere below you, even with what we know now. 20th of October, 1924. All right. The case, Pierce. Hey, you even look like the guy from Vampire a little bit. You're not the same name though. I'm pretty sure like that guy, yeah, his name was Jonathan Reed, not Edward Pierce. So, not, not, not a similar name. Are these my scores? I already have scores? Oh. This is, yeah. There's a... These are, these are a lot of the common stats you have when you play a Lovecraftian game, or even... Maybe even House on the Hill, actually. Uh, but, uh... This definitely reminds me of the... Was it... The Council. Which were three through the we we're, we're, we've done three of the five episodes so far. So he has he has two out of five on spot hidden. Your ability to find hidden objects improving the skill increases your chance of finding hidden objects. An undiscovered object will not appear in game. It's just there were just straight up be more objects in the environment. The more points you have into this basically is the functional in, outcome of that. I'm, inter I'm interested in how these are like pre-developed by different amounts. Like, this one's at exactly two. This one's slightly above two. That one's at three. Why are they... It's like the points are pre-allocated. That's interesting. Eloquence. The ability to influence people through speech. So you can convince and manipulate people the higher it is. Strength. Your physical power. It's also like our highest stat. Uh, forcing doors and mechanisms. Or violence during interactive discussions. Investigation. Represents your investigative talents. Increased chance of understanding past events by analyzing a crime scene or an object or of picking locks. Psychology. Human behavior. Improved skill chance of your... Uh, your 
yeah, chances of understanding motivations of a person based on his or her behavior or analysis of objects. These are all purple. These two are orange. Medicine and occult skills could only be improved by objects discovered in the environment because they're because they're knowledge based. That makes that makes some sense. Occultism represents the, your knowledge of the occult sciences. Improving the skill increases your chance of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts and of expressing your knowledge of the truth. Uh, knowledge of the myth. And then medicine is pretty straightforward. Dosage of a drug, diagnosis, diagnosis and understanding of medical problems. These are straightforward ideas. The sanity system. We have nightmares, so this can keep going, huh? Edward Pierce is a veteran of the First World War where he took part in the Maus Argonne Offensive. He is one of the few survivors of the Lost Battalion, American units that suffered heavy losses from enemy and allied artillery fire, forced to hold their position for several days, surrounded by the bodies of their fallen comrades, without food or medical supplies. The soldiers were considered as lost by their fellow countrymen. Pierce is traumatized by these events. He consumes sleeping pills and liquor to ward off the nightmares that haunt them. That's also part of the course, more or less. Uh, a lot of Lovecraftian protagonists tend to be doctors or detectives that are ex-military and trying to drink through the memories of the war. Don't know anything about dark water, but apparently we're going to go there, I'm guessing. There's the agency. My private detective agency contracted to the Wentworth Detective Agency. After the Great War, I decided to set up in Boston where there is no lack of work for guys like me. One small time case follows the other. Adultery, settled scores, disappearances that are not actually disappearances. The old office couch is less comfortable than a real bed, and I should probably get rid of these empty bottles, but this place is mine. For the moment. We have inhab so for Darkwater we have inhabitants, places, and a cult, including me apparently, which is also in Darkwater. So we just don't know, we just don't know any people that are here or anything that's a cult yet, but I guess I'm already here because my agency is listed as being here. My inventory is one lighter, Lost Battalion ten seven eight, the seventy eight or eighteen eighteen. Yeah. I engraved it with the memory of the 77th Infantry Division and the men of the Lost Battalion who fell. Can I rotate it or look it around? Uh, inspect is F. There we go. Uh, now it's rotating. You drag to rotate now. So it was like, it was just weirdly tied to my mouse before, I guess. Submenus, what's that? Oh, R, R just changes tabs here, okay. And E changes the top tab. Huh. What a, that's one that's a strange thing to have a hot, hot key set up for, I guess. All right. I think that's everything we're going to find in here. I'm too disgruntled and sad to turn off radios as I leave rooms. Oh, I do. Okay. Don't drink. Somebody honking at me through the window? Is that what you want? Do I need to turn off the... I actually did need to turn off the radio for the story to continue? Huh. I'm listening. Investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective Agency? That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Oh, and what am I going to reselect to put my, my stats? Wait, this is... Is this... I mean, I can, uh, oh, you can remove points. 
You're right? No? No. So you can click on them. Okay. So you, I can't remove what's already there. So I inherently have a certain level of investigative nature and so on. Didn't you say this could only be increased by me finding stuff in the environment? But I just got the ability to increase them. Huh. Well, anyway, I guess one thing is the it's the question of do I want to overinvest in certain stats and be super good at those things, or do I want to be well-rounded? In the council, it very clearly constantly pays to be well-rounded, but you know that doesn't mean they're related. Although the, I think I think this is the same publisher as the council, maybe even the same developer. I don't know. A lot. I don't, I don't think it's quite the same developer. Last time I played a spiders, I mean a cyanide game. I think the last cyanide game I played was a. Uh, Bound by Flame, but I think that they are published by the same people that publishes the council, so seeing this system looking really familiar is not unexpected. So I have enough points to take two level two skills and make them level three skills if I want to. Or I can take, let's see, takes four points to get that up. So all the way up until three, it costs four points per level for the first two levels. Medicine's already halfway up, so if I wanted to, I could take a three and make it a five, a four, while also making a one, a two, and that would still work out. I'm a little tempted to go into uh, inve uh, medicine and investigation. Kind of like that idea, just being really good at one skill. I have no idea which stuff's... Uh, going to be the most useful necessarily so I think it kind of just boils down to eh, just pick a character and see how the story plays out as a result of the character you customized so we'll be a little bit better at medicine and I'm gonna be really good at investigation I'm gonna be the best damn detective there ever was by kind of being mediocre at everybody else good, everything else good job let's yeah let's do this guy thank you for this information mr. Pierce our files will soon be up to date and on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, do you still- I'm coming. <laughs> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... 
tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? A painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. I feel like our character is failing to acknowledge the fact that it clearly, clearly looks like the thing I just saw in that dream. Like, and he, he's not freaking out nearly as much as he probably should be. Um. This is, yeah, there's a lot more. A strange picture painted by Sarah Hawkins a short while before a tragic death was sent to her father just after the artist died. He is convinced that she is the sender. He brought me the painting so I could examine it. Stephen Webster, the wealthy industrialist, came to my office. He wants me to reopen the Sarah Hawkins case, named after his daughter, who died in a fire alongside her entire family. I must examine the documents he compiled in the or in or yeah. This is going to be that one special case I have to follow up on as a detective. I'm a washed up detective that don't care about nobody or no thing, but dude walks in with a painting of my nightmare. I best I better take a look. What's this symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. Check the diary. Oh. No. Thought we had something new. Ah, oh, they're cult. Intuitive and visionary artist for some, overpriced imposter for others. Sarah Hawkins leaves nobody indifferent. His mysterious and reserved painter offers strange images with violent colors and wild strokes to the world. If her paintings are testimony to her vision of the world, then the world of Sarah Hawkins is a portal open to other dimensions. Extract from Notebook of Edward Pierce, Private Detective. Okay, it's something I wrote. <laughs> it's being cited in my own stuff's interesting, so clues. The painting depicts as a mysterious silhouette, threatening a woman and a child. Oh, I didn't even notice the child. There he is. Flames can be made out in the background. Stephen Webster, the father of Sarah Hawkins, thinks it's linked to the death of his daughter. Inspect. Anything on the back? Worth checking, right? The hell of a signature. Knowledge in my inventory. Oh, those are just the cases I already knew about, though. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. A shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out the part of the address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater. A police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decide on domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? So they're claiming it wasn't even an, an, an attempt at sabotage or murder or anything, but they still attack her sanity on top of that. Like extra shade just for the sake of it. Like they're trying to defame her? A press cutting, an article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a, the businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live in a reclusive uh, life there with their only son, Simon. I can rotate the entire pile. All right. I, why not, I suppose? So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Oh, we have a lot to do with here. Let's see. Unlocked answer. That's something specific to what I have. I might want to take a look at that in general. I can see something's not right about the story. I read about her mental frailty. Don't take the painting lightly, or I can ask about Warehouse 36. Exclamation points. I want. I need to figure out what all these icons mean, because some of them are often 
things that lead to you finishing the conversation. I'm thinking this one is probably the one that ends the conversation because it's got like a straight up exclamation point quest marker. I'm curious about what's unique to my build. You shouldn't take this painting. Oh no, this is probably my character build and my investigation stat. And this is probably just the fact that I looked at the painting. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. Let's see what I can do as an investigator. Something's not... Uh, maybe we should ask about the other details first, because I might expand on the story. I read about her mental fragility in the police report. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Where did Sarah Hawkins live? Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Something's not right with this story. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. That's all the information I need. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right, I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. He's weirding me out. Maybe it's because... I mean, he does have an internal monologue. So it's I'm not crazy here. It feels like he should have more of a reaction to that painting. I'm not quite happy with the setting. It's always, a, always an experience tweaking that around. Alright, so... Do you not recognize the fact that that's blatantly a painting of the thing you saw in your dream, more or less? Or at least looks like it. It's a weird timing. I feel like it's not crossing his mind at all, because he does have an internal monologue where he brings up all sorts of other things. But not that. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. 
But don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows. But today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coasts of Massachusetts. So we're going straight to, like, there being a monster. Like, re we're immediately re referencing that kind of thing. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. I should get rid of all this stuff. Yeah, that was all there before. I've been into there. Yep. Just double check and see if any other thing is there that I can investigate. Learning of Medicine, Volume 1. A dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. This first volume lists all illnesses known in the civilized world. It details the symptoms of suitable treatment. Did I... Did I just get some more, like, medicine skill? Character sheet. Did I get more? It says 22%, where I think it says used to say 20%. 22% is not a really a big spike, though. The Island of Dark Water. It would seem that the world has forgotten the very existence of this isolated rock off the coast of Boston. It is a small, inhospitable island whose coastline is made up of steep cliffs and sharp reefs. With only one outlet to the sea, it is mainly inhabited by the descendants of whalers who set up supply posts in the 1800s. It was hit with severely by the collapse of this activity. I think that the only venture on the island is that it's still profitable as the medical institute. Oh. Well, then maybe it'll be useful for me to have more medical skill. So we have a number of characters already. Stephen Webster, 63 years old, wealthy businessman, well respected in the Boston area. Stephen Webster came to see me in order that I investigate the death of his only daughter, Sarah Hawkins. Man accepts neither refusals nor inconvenient truths. He is ready to do anything to prove his father, his her, her daughter was not, his daughter was not mad. Charles Hawkins, age 41, deceased, ship owner. Charles Hawkins was a local celebrity in Darkwater, the heir of a ship owner family. He used to travel a lot. He met Sarah Hawkins during a trip to Paris. They fell in love, got married, and Hawkins took her to the remote island of Darkwater. They had a child named Simon and lived a very secretive life. Sarah Hawkins, 33. That's a big age gap, eight years. Painter. Sarah Hawkins, a painter known for her tortured artistic universe. She was worshipped for the strangeness of her work and the rarity of her public appearances. I seem to remember that she once said, I paint what my dreams whisper to me. Her marriage to Charles Hawkins a few uh, years ago surprised high society columnists. A wealthy Boston heiress, known for her party going, chooses to follow her new husband and live in a, as a recluse on the island of Darkwater. She disappeared from the front pages of newspapers and nobody heard any more about her. Even after, uh, even her death is in a fire remained a secret. Only her father, Stephen Webster, conti uh, continued to seek the truth. Simon Hawkins, age 11, schoolboy. Only son of Sarah and Charles Hawkins. He died in the fire that claimed his whole family. That's all we have to go on, is that there was a boy. He has a whole 3D character model, though. I'm curious about that. Maybe we'll get flashbacks or visions of what happened to them if they actually rendered character models of these people. Worth noting. Clues. We have the painting and the file. You have been through all that already. Knowledge. Nope, this is just all being piled into my stuff. I think it, I think it seriously did just give me a 2% bonus, which is just so minor. Huh. Been through all that stuff. Nothing else to worry about missing. Let's let's head on out. Cool. We're gonna come back a changed person, or not at all. I'm guessing not at all.